Four signs that you love Allah and Allah loves you back. Allah Azzawajal, He said in the Quran, O believers, whoever among you abandons his faith, anyone who leaves his faith, Allah will replace them with others, other people, people that He loves and they love Him. And He gave four qualities. So these four qualities are qualities of people who Allah loves and they love Allah Azza wa Jal. Number one, أَذِلَّةٍ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ They are humble with the believers. Yani they have manners towards the believers. Allahu Akbar. My brothers and sisters in Islam, if you don't have manners among one another, then that is not true love for Allah Azza wa Jal. If you love Allah truly, and if you want to know if Allah loves you back, number one sign after obeying Allah Azza wa Jal is that you are humble towards believers. Number two, a'izzatin ala al-kafirin, firm towards the disbelievers. You know, firm. You must be firm towards the disbelievers. You know, look, look, I give you an example. If someone cursed and insulted your parents, would you love them? If someone cursed and insulted you, would you love them? Then how should the case be with when you know someone has insulted Allah and cursed Allah? You must be firm against these people and you must declare innocence from them and everything they worship. This is a sign that you love Allah and Allah loves you back. And one of the ways to show firmness towards the disbelievers is to implement your deen correctly and uphold your religion and follow the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يُجَاهِدُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ That's the third sign that proves you love Allah and Allah loves you. That you struggle in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Well, jihad fi sabilillah is many ways, is many forms. One of its forms is to jihad, jihad al nafs, to struggle against your own self, right? To rise above the temptations, the evil temptations and desires that are within you, to give up your sins. Hada, this is the greatest of al jihad, jihad al nafs. Fa, we need to understand, yujahiduna fi sabilillah. The main thing is this struggle, get out of this comfort zone. And struggle and strive in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do things that are pleasing to Allah azza wa jal. Spread the deen of Allah azza wa jal and teach the people how to pray, how to fast, how to love Allah, how to connect with Allah, how to build their relationship with Allah. The fourth sign that Allah loves you and you love Him is that they do not fear no blame from anyone. Meaning, they do not fear anyone's criticism. So pray in public, pray in public. Don't fear what people would say. A bead at work. Keep it. Don't shave it because of work. That way you feed someone and what he's going to say. But those who love Allah and Allah loves them, they don't fear anyone's criticism. Al-hijab. Wear the hijab. Wear the niqab. And don't fear what society is going to say to you. Don't fear what they're going to say. The fear of other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is of three types. There is a fear of shirk. If you fear someone believing that fearing him will benefit you on the day of judgment, that's shirk. A person becomes a kafir. He left Islam. There is a fee that is haram. And this is what we're talking about. If you leave an obligation out, or you commit a sin out of fear of someone, then that fear is haram. And it decreases a person's tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't fear the criticism of people if you're upon the truth and calling to the truth and doing that which Allah azza wa is pleased with. So these four qualities is a sign that you love Allah and Allah azza wa loves you in return. Thank <laughs> you.